Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stephen Draws video. It's a little windy outside right now, but I'm out here enjoying the weather and appreciating how beautiful the trees look today. Uh, as you can probably tell, they're turning yellow behind me because it's almost fall and it gave me an idea. I think it would be kind of cool to do a fall themed painting, you know, right before all the trees start to turn, kind of appreciating the color scheme that's about to envelop all of this. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to go brainstorm some ideas and uh, see how that goes. I think, I think I'm going to paint a fox and he'll be walking along a little trail, maybe uh, kicking up some leaves that are turning yellow, kind of like these. So I'm going to meet you guys inside and we'll start brainstorming. I'm not entirely sure why uh, when I think of fox I think of the autumn season but uh, maybe it's the color of their fur or something like that. I just feel like I can do something really cool with the color scheme of the orange and yellow trees and the red fur of the fox. Honestly I'm really excited. So I guess no more really needs to be said. Let's get the plan. so far um i'm pretty proud of it honestly um it is a little more i don't know i haven't added any of the extra colors yet it just has the colors of a regular fox so far but it looks like the texture for the fur and most of the contrast is already done so after this point i'll just be adding extra reflecting colors and any other colors that i think would look good scattered within the fur I'm moving my stuff outside and I'm gonna go sit in the trees over there because 
I'm drawing a nature-y themed painting, I might as well actually be in nature. Sorry about the sounds of the road. Uh, it just is there. You know, I've been talking about doing this for a while, but I think there's something to be said about the power of procrastination because it's beautiful out here. I don't know why I haven't done it earlier. This looks like a nice spot. So I have myself this beach towel. I'm gonna make myself a little picnic area for me to sit on. Fabulous. Now to start working on the background, and that will be mostly our teal color, but I'm going to water it down and do multiple layers so it doesn't look so overpowering. Okay, so you're probably thinking, that looks terrible, and you'd be right. So, essentially what I'm planning on doing is, I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to use this as an under layer, I don't actually know like a base layer for the background. Okay, so where I plan on going from here is I, I already kept some of the blue undertones at the bottom, kind of like how I was planning to. Um, and I have some of what's about to be grass here, and I'm about to add a bunch of oranges and yellow highlights to make the grass look kind of browned and more fall themed. And then um, I'm mostly, from this point on, going to be focusing on red, yellow, and uh, greenish leaves. So yeah, there's some more details to go, then we can work on the leaves. So I moved my art station just right outside of the door here. Um, and it looks like a nice little place to sit. Uh, what you don't see is that each one of these cushions is filled with a ridiculous amount of water. So I'm still gonna sit on it, but... Uh, very, very wet. So I did a little bit more touching up on the leaves here. I intentionally left them a bit abstract because I think if I ended up doing like hyper-realistic leaves, it would either take me a couple more hours or would take away from the overall feel of the fox. And honestly, I'm very proud of how the fur looks on him. Very, very proud. But yeah, thank you all so very much for watching this episode. I appreciate you all so much. And until next time, bye.